Overhead cranes can cause serious accidents and require constant attention. Workers must be trained to inspect and operate the crane and to recognize hazards. Only qualified operators are allowed to use the crane. The rated load capacity of the crane shall be plainly marked on each side of the crane. Daily inspection should be performed at the beginning of each shift or before initial use of the crane by the operator or appointed person. All cranes, hoisting and lifting devices and rigging found to have safety defects as a result of an inspection shall be tagged and taken out of service. Before lifting a load, inspect the rigging to confirm it is in good condition, is appropriate for the load size, shape and weight, and safe practices are applied. Refuse to make a lift if you are unsure of any issues. When lifting, move the crane and hoist or hook directly above the load. Ensure that everyone is clear of any pinch or crush zones and slowly raise the load to take out any slack. Lift the product a few inches and inspect the rigging. Then lift the load completely before moving the load in any other direction. Maintain a clear view of the crane path and use one continuous motion when traveling to avoid load swing. Don't walk or stand under a suspended load and keep all operator walkways clear of obstructions or objects that may be tripping hazards. Carrying loads over personnel is not permitted. The crane warning signal or horn must be sounded when the load or hook comes near or over personnel. If you must leave the area, lower the load to the ground before doing so. Always raise the crane hook above head level when the crane is not in use. It is critical that embedded inserts used to lift, transport, and place products are appropriate for the precast product, and employees are trained to make the proper decisions. The type, placement, alignment, and number of embedded devices should be specified by an engineer. Weight and shape of the product, among other factors, should be accounted for. Follow supplier's recommendations for installation and engagement. The capacity of commercial lifting inserts should be marked on the devices or on materials provided by the supplier. Avoid subjecting the precast piece being lifted to excessive dynamic loading, such as traveling over a bumpy area or shock loading. The concrete product should reach its design stripping compressive strength before stripping from the form and lifting it.